Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Hi, bye, thank you. Hey, that's really good to know. How was your weekend? Very nice. Excellent. How about you, Graciela? How was, how was your weekend? It's busy. I have too many things, but it's great too. I was with my friend talking and with uh, my best friend too. It was busy, but it was great. Thank oh. you. It was pretty busy as well. I had a lot of work to do. And because I'm working on a different place as well, so I'm just doing some material for some new classes. So I've been really busy as well. <laughs> okay, and how about you, Christopher? How are you? Hello, good evening. I'm Doria in my work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and how about you? With yes? a little of a headache. <laughs> oh, I see, with a headache. Okay, and how about you, Beatrice? Okay, so probably she cannot hear me. Okay, but we are going to begin. Hi, Krishna, how are you? I'm sorry, but you're getting cut off. Se escucha así como entrecortada. Hola. Um, today we are starting basically section four. I could see that some of you have been working on that because you've been asking about the exercises and that's really good, excellent. I really like that. And today we are going to begin with a video that is on the platform that is about the things, the top eight things people hate to do. For example, if I ask to you, what are the things that you hate the most? What would you say? ¿Qué es lo que más odian o lo que más detestan ustedes? Hacer o en general, dicho. Sorry? Hacer o en general. Las cosas que detestan, que decir, digamos, ni porque le paguen lo haría. I hate iron, but ah, you hate ironing. I have to do it. Yes, I hate ironing. Yeah, but I do it. Me too, and I do it because no one can do it as I do. And when I'm talking about my clothes, I really like it to be really nice. Okay, I do it because my husband uh, doesn't do it. Neither I have to do it. I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you, Sarita? Ay, ay, a mí lo que no me gusta es, digamos, casi todo me gusta de la casa, pero creo que lavar trastes, pues no me, creo que la mayoría no nos parece mucho, pero tenemos que hacerlo. Yeah, because they never end. Nunca termina, o sea, usted comienza y cuando viene a ver ya están iguales, o peor. Igual, igual que lavar ropa, igual acaba de terminar cuando viene a rebuscarse otra vez, ya hay bastante ropa sucia. 
Espera, hay que hacerlo. Thanks. Yeah. Um, how about you, Alex? I think, teacher, I had it working. <laughs> but I had to do it. <laughs> okay, yes. Probably because you're not in the in, in your ideal job. That could be the reason. Yes, uh, my, I don't know, I prefer to work in a call center. And, really? But... Yeah, actually, uh, I'm working in Claro. It's like a, a back office. Ah, okay. I don't know if you know something back office. Yes. So basically, you are just checking, for example, claims, or you're not dealing with customers. And that's right. really good. Yes. So I had to work. <laughs> <laughs> I hate working in call center as well. Believe me, I really hate that. I started working at sites. I worked there for three years and then I moved to Transactel at that moment, now Talus. But, but then I had the opportunity to start teaching and so I decided to stay here because this is what oh. I really love. Yeah, it's the different teacher because you love your work, your job. But in my case, in my case I don't love my job. <laughs> yeah, believe That's me, I, I hate dealing with some customers because they think that they are always right. They, they want you to do things that you know you're not allowed to. So. I know a little bit about it because I work at, in Alcohol Center, but in Spanish account, it's different in uh, English account. I think that, I don't know. Because the, the people is native. But you learn a lot. That is a positive thing about working in call centers. You learn a lot. You develop a lot your listening skills. Uh, your pronunciation improves a lot too. So it has its advantages and disadvantages. Okay, teacher. And there are many places that can pay you a little bit good for example but i rather stay for example in a back office position or chatting or with emails but not talking to customers i really hate that <laughs> yeah hi good evening for the ones that are just joining us we're talking about the things that we hate to do but what can you tell us? Let's see, Christopher. Um, I think he put that, but I don't find it. But in this moment, I think I had to work. I had to do my homework. <laughs> uh, you hate doing your homework. <laughs> uh, see, I prefer it uh, to exam. Oh, really? To do exam. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the activity I... is, is so excited for me. <laughs> not not excited for me. Okay, excellent. That's really good to know. So you hate doing homework, but you love taking exams. Okay, how about you, Atriz? Hello, Beatriz. Okay, I think that she cannot hear us. Hola. 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 Hi, Beatriz. Ay, disculpe, es que he estado un poco ocupada y estoy escuchando solamente la, la conversación nada más. Ah, ok. Pero sí, o sea, estamos, eh, lo que estamos viendo es de lo que odiamos hacer. ¿Verdad? 
Yes, that's right. Algo así, escuché. Yes. Ajá. Pero bueno, un día más. No sé, digamos, estaría bien un ejemplo, por ejemplo, I hate going to the doctor. Yeah. Odio ir al doctor. Por dos. Eso sí lo odio. Me too. Sí. Ok, thank you. How about you, Jaime? Eh, good evening, teacher. Eh, I <coughs> me acabo de conectar y... Tengo un poquito de problemas, creo, con el audio. No sé si se me escucha bien. Sí, se le escucha perfecto. Ah, ok. Ah, pues eh, me acabo de conectar y tal vez me podría poner en contexto ahí. Ok, yes. We are talking about the things that we hate to do. Ah, ok. Eh... Sorry, teacher. Yeah, for example, Graciela said that she hates irony. And Sarita said that she hates doing the dishes and doing laundry. Um, Beatriz said that she hates going to the doctor. Alex, Alex sorry, said that he hates going to work. And how about you? Uh, I'm going to do a... a Homeworks. <laughs> you hate doing homework? Maybe. Uh, Al igual yes. que Christopher, odia hacer tareas. Mm. Estamos hablando de las mm. cosas que más odiamos hacer o que detestamos. Ah, ok. Uh, sorry, sorry, estaba distraído, estaba. Ok. Uh, vengo reformateando, perdón. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no, in this case, I hate uh, uh, to doing a uh, uh, de hecho casi nada. <laughs> Me gusta. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, nothing. Maybe uh, I I like it. Uh, what, what I do, o sea, me gusta lo que hago, cada cosa que hago, la trato de hacerla lo mejor que puede ser. Okay, excellent. What about going to the bank? Do you like going to the bank? ¿Le gusta ir al banco? Ah, ahí hacer la cola es la que uh -huh. no me gusta. Ah, <laughs> so ejemplo. you see. Ah, ok. Yes. Entonces, <laughs> okay, yeah, so you can see that all of us have some things that we really hate doing. So we are going to watch the following video, video that we have on the platform that, he, that talks about it. And then we will continue discussing with the ones that haven't participated, okay? So let's start. And by the way, uh, we are studying also the, a new grammar topic that is simple past tense. And I'm going to be explaining to you uh, how to make uh, the past tense or how to form the past tense for regular verbs. And I'm going to need your attention because that's something that you have to be careful with, okay? But first of all, we are going to begin with the top eight things that people hate to do, okay? So let's pay attention and listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. 
Eight. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Things you hate to do. Okay, so you could see there that we have the top eight things that people hate to do. Uh, Jaime was saying that he hates standing in lines. Some of you were explaining that you hate doing the laundry. You hate um, ironing cloths, for example, that was another. Or you also mentioned that you hate doing homework. Um, and there are some other things. So uh, I remember that Sarita was saying that she has to do laundry, but she hates it. Okay. In my case, I can say that I don't have to clean the house. Why? Because my husband does it. Okay, so I have that, that, what? Like that advantage, I would say. Okay, that I don't have to clean the house because he helps me doing that. Okay, so we are going to practice with this and we are going to be working in breakup rooms, okay? with the things that you hate to do, okay? And we are going to follow the examples that we have here. And it's going to be talking, okay? Lo voy a mandar entonces ahorita lo que son los breakouts. Yes. I had a question. Go ahead. Uh, in, the in the second sentence, uh, can I use just the bare clean? For example, I don't have to clean the house. Yes, that is a, no, that is a mistake. Thank you for pointing it out. Okay. Yes, in that case is I don't have to clean the house. Okay, this is a mistake that we have here and we are going to submit the feedback. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay, so I'm going to send you right now to the breakup rooms and I'm going to be moving and listening to you, okay? So let's go. Because I begin to, how do you say, sudar? ¿Saben cómo se dice? Sweat. That one. Sweat. Because I sweat, I hate to Cold? iron my clothes. I don't like swing. I hate it. Also, let me see. I hate wake up during night. I hate waking up. Yes, waking can up. Can you spell okay. the word? Which one? Okay, can you spell uh, sudar? Okay, there you got it. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, there's just one thing that I need to point out, and this is when we are using the verb hate. When you use the verb hate, 
you have two options. For example, you can say, I hate um, to cook, for example. Or you can also say, I hate cooking. Okay, so both are correct. But if you are going to be using the verb in its base form, you need to use it with the to, okay? So you can say, I hate to cook or I hate cooking. Cooking. Yes, and both are correct. Teacher, this verb is like one to or need to, hate to. Hate to and need to, mm, no. Need to, necesito. No, no, es que si se parece, por ejemplo, cuando uso need, siempre tengo que poner need to go, need to okay. uh, eat, hate okay. to. Vale, es que el hate tiene to. esas dos opciones. Es decir, usted lo puede usar okay. con el verbo en infinitivo o en ing. Y siempre se da a entender lo mismo. Son ciertos verbos que le aceptan ambas formas. Ok, uh -huh. solo que si usted va a usar el verbo en infinitivo, siempre tiene que ir el to. No me puede decir, I hate to cook, porque gramaticalmente está incorrecto, incorrecto. Entonces tiene que usar, I hate to cook, o I hate cooking. Lo mismo pasa con el verbo love. I love cooking, or I love to cook. Acepta ambos. Uh -huh. Okay, same teacher. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just listening to you. Also, Mauricio, what can you tell us? Hello. Uh, My... My my team is I hate to work on Sunday. You hate to work on Sundays. Okay. I I hate to I travel in bus. Okay. I hate I hate to play basketball. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, okay. let's practice this with the others, okay? So I'm going to visit your other classmates. I don't try. No me, ajá. Que no me gusta viajar al trabajo en las mañanas. Uh -huh. Y luego el siguiente es go to meeting. 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 Okay. Entonces sería... Hacer el ejemplo? ¿Sí? Ah, eh, tenemos un compañero allí. Sí, sí no. Ah. Eh, I have to go to meetings in the morning. I hate it. I don't have to go away. Ok. No, pues yo voy a hacer el que más se adapta a mí, conmigo. Exercise. Sí. I hate exercise. Eh. Bueno, en todo caso, otro ejemplo sería I hate that they make me wait a long time. Yo odio que me hagan esperar mucho tiempo. ¿Cómo lo dijiste? ¿Puedes repetirlo, por favor? 
I hate that they make me wait a long time. Oh, thank you, ma'am. So you hate waiting. Sorry, teacher. You said that you hate waiting for people. No. Dije, I hate, I hate that they make me wait a long time. Yo odio que me hagan esperar mucho tiempo. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so yeah me too. El siguiente. Por tres. Yeah. <laughs> so, Krishna, it's your turn. No. No. You? <laughs> sí, okay. pero yo. <laughs> yo. Creí que me iba a salvar, pero no pude. <laughs> ok. I hate... <laughs> mm, I don't know. I hate to... I hate washing the... the Chicken, I don't know if, if I can use chicken teacher como cocina en general. Uh, chicken or kitchen? Kitchen. Oh, yeah. I heard chicken and <laughs> I was like... <laughs> okay. A veces, a veces, a veces se me, se me cruzan las palabras, lo siento. <laughs> Porque va a lavar un pollo. <laughs> no, pero también se lava un pollo, teacher. Yeah, but in that case would be cook. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So okay. I had I had to, to clean. Sorry, I had washing and the chicken, the kitchen. Cleaning the but kitchen. I, cleaning. Yeah, cleaning. Cleaning. Yeah, because it's yeah, limpiar, no? Yes. Thank you, Tito. I welcome. repeat again. Okay. I had cleaning the chicken, the kitchen, <laughs> but I had to do it. <laughs> Peter, how do you say macarrones in English? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Sorry? Spaghetti. 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 Yeah, spaghetti. spaghetti. You, you need the, yeah, you need the S sound. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yes. Spaghetti. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, I see Christmas. I see them. Too. I am walking. As is a plus a terminal. Walking? Yes. Yes. Well, ah, walking. Walking. Ah, okay. Ah, walking. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so I was listening to some of you and the things that you hate to do. And, well, it was a really interesting activity because we could learn about other people. So before we move to the next topic, topic sorry, I just want you to tell me if you have questions.
if we have that, sir? Yeah, do you have any questions? Okay. So let's listen to the others. Um, let me see who didn't participate. Ryan, what are the things that you hate to do? And in the morning, I hate it. I'm sorry, but you were cut off. Can you say that one more time, please? I have to go to meetings away. I hate it. Ah, okay, so you hate going to meetings when they are away, okay. What about you, Karen? I hate working on weekends. You hate working on weekends, okay. And how about you, Kate? I I hate iron. You hate ironing? Iron. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we have two people that hate ironing. Okay. Excellent. So we are going to move right now to the next topic. And as I said to you, we are going to start learning the simple past tense for regular verbs. But before going to my presentation, I just want you to tell me what do you know about the past tense for regular verbs? What can you tell me? Regular, teacher. Regular, yes. Anyone? Yes. Ajá. ¿Qué pueden decirme de los verbos regulares en pasado simple? Any volunteer? Yes. So, yes, sometimes for... we we only um, adherir o poner at ed only at yes we add e and d and it okay. is regular yes what else can you say about it okay. I uh, Graciela, you're on mute. I'm sorry. It's with the pronunciation, I have a little problem because one of them, the pronunciation finished with T, with huh? this, as if, a thing, and the other only D. Okay. For me, it's, uh, I have a problem with this. Yes, and that is something that we are going to be practicing as well, because we have to type of sounds. We have voice sounds and voiceless sounds. So those sounds are the ones that will let us know what is going to be the pronunciation for the ED in these regular verbs, okay? And that's something that we are going to see probably today, and if not, tomorrow, okay? So I have here this little presentation that is about simple past tense. Um, I'm going to begin with the simple past tense for regular verbs. Uh, first of all, we have affirmative statements. So we're going to have a volunteer that is going to help us read it. Okay, it's better now. Okay, Jaime, can you read the first two sentences, please? 
maybe uh, study. No, can uh, you read? Can you read the examples that I? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Yes, I. Uh, my bad. I bake a cake. He, she played with me. Okay, thank you. It, I'm sorry, continue. It popped open. They cried at the end of the movie. Okay, thank you. So you can see that there we have affirmative sentences using the past tense for regular verbs. So we can see that the first one says, I bake a cake. He or she played with me. He hoped open. They cried at the end of the movie. Okay, so here the ED ending has a different sound, as Graciela was saying. Some of them will have like that sound, sound, and others would have like the sound. The. We have bake. Played, hoped, and cried. Okay? So you could see that there is a difference in pronunciation, even though all of them end in ed. Okay? A pesar que todos ellos terminan en lo que es ed, la pronunciación es diferente. No se van a pronunciar de la misma manera. Yo puedo tener acá otro ejemplo. Por ejemplo, I visited my family. I visited my family. Ok. El sonido al final es completamente diferente a lo que hemos visto acá. Ok. Uh, but this is only with affirmative sentences. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta? What's the meaning of puppet? Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, for example, uh, sometimes you are in a, in the computer and something pops up. O sea, está en la computadora y de repente una ventanita pops up. Como decirle emerge. Okay? O usted está trabajando y de repente pum, sale. Hay un anuncio o qué sé yo. Okay? That's the meaning of pop. Okay, another question? No? Okay, so I'm going to ask one of you. Entonces yo le voy a preguntar, ya que ustedes no preguntan. Um, let me see. We're going to have Jose. Jose Lobo. Hello, Jose, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, uh, what can you notice on the verbs that we have in green? Sorry, repeat, please. Yeah, what do you notice on the verbs we have in green? Uh, it affirm the statement. Yes. Okay. Hey, breathe, okay. breathe. But what can you tell us about it? ¿Qué nos puede decir de los verbos que están en verde? ¿Qué es lo que logra identificar? Okay. Bueno, necesito que todos pongan atención a esos verbos que tenemos ahí. Okay. Este, identifico que tienen agregada eh, dos letras, ¿no? Okay. Todos. Sí, todos. Okay, thank you. Vaya, ya le voy a explicar algo. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Okay, now we're going with negative statements. Uh, let's see, Josué Mauricio. Can you read the examples, please? Uh, 
que le explique la estructura de la oración? No, read the examples, please. Uh, que lea la negative. oración. Yes. Uh -huh. Dice, I did not pay a key. He, she did not play with me. It did not what happened. They did not cry at the end of the movie. Okay. Thank you. So you can see that there we have those examples. I did not bake a cake. He or she did not play with me. It did not go open. They did not cry at the end of the movie. And here you can see that we have the negative contraction that is did plus not, that it's equal to didn't. Okay. Uh, what is one of the characteristics that you can see here? Let's see. Um, we're going to ask to. Yes, teacher. Okay, what have you noticed on this example? ¿Qué es lo que ha visto en estos ejemplos? El verbo cambia. Okay. La terminación. Ya no está LD y en cry. Bueno, en el anterior cambiaba. No estaba la Y, sino que IED. Ok, excelente. ¿Qué más? Para gracias, ¿quieren alguien más? Que nos ayude más. En este caso negativo, el verbo se, se mantiene en presente, ¿cierto? Y solo cambia el auxiliar. Ok, excelente. Sí, como estamos viendo lo que son también las oraciones negativas, ustedes pueden ver que tengo el auxiliar did not o lo puedo usar, es más común que es el didn't. Y cuando yo estoy usando lo que es este auxiliar negativo, el verbo regresa a su forma normal. Vaya, mencionaba ahí la compañera que en estos ejemplos, tried, si ustedes se dan cuenta, ya no está en yet, sino que tengo lo que es ed. Ahora bien, si logran ver este otro verbo, pop. What's the difference? It has two, two P. Ah, ok, excellent. You can see that it has two P's. ¿Por qué tiene dos P's? Veamos. Uh, because when uh, a verb It has only one vocal. Ah, uh, well. Consonante, consonante, vocal, consonante, la, cuando ya cambia al, al pasado, la segunda consonante se, se repite. Duplica. Se okay. duplica, exacto, se duplica, perdón. Gracias, Sarita. Perfect, excelente. O sea que si yo les hiciera examen ahorita de todos esos verbos, Regulares en pasado me sacan 10. Ok, perfect. Ok, so you can see that here we have some rules. And this is what, what basically we were talking about. You can see here, remember, uh, to form the simple past tense of most regular verbs, the only thing that we are going to do is to add e or ed. Ok? Para el pasado simple de la mayoría de verbos regulares, lo que nosotros vamos a hacer es agregarle de o ed. So you can see the examples, bake plus d, bake, play plus ed, play. Okay, so now we have the following rule. Let's see, Kate, can you read it please? Uh, ¿Cuál teacher? Uh, the second one. Uh, to from the simple past of some regular verbs that in the in a vowel, no sé cómo se dice más. Plus. Plus constant. Consonant. Doble 
Consonant, doubly the last consonant, and add it, D. Okay, and the examples? Continue. Con los ejemplos. Pop. Se me olvidó otra vez. Plus. Plus, igual. B equals. Eso sí, no sé. Otra vez, el igual. Equals. Igual, equals. Pop. Equals. Ok, excelente. Equals. Pop. 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 Hop. Plus. Plus. P. Equal. Hop. 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 Okay, thank you. Teacher. Just a few seconds. Okay, so I'm sending you to the chat the the name for those symbols we have. El más plus y el igual equals. Okay. So we have the following rule that says that to form the simple pass of some regular verbs that end in a vowel plus consonant, we are going to double the last consonant and add it. Lo que decía Graciela, cuando tenemos verbos que terminan en una vocal más una consonante, duplico la última consonante y agrego ed. Okay? So you can see we have hop, hop, hop. Up. Another one would be uh, stop. 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 Okay. Sí, si y si termina en e, y si termina en eso, lo vamos a agregar la d. La d, como tenemos aquí el ejemplo de b. D. Okay. 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 Antes de seguir, alguna pregunta o está claro? Only teacher the meaning of hop. Uh, rabbits or bunnies do that. Conejos, ¿qué es lo que hacen? Saltan. Un saltico, un poquito. Sí, okay. That's the meaning of hop. Hop, thank you. You're welcome. Another question? No, teacher. Okay, so let's continue. Then we're going to work on an exercise, okay? Just to make sure that everything is clean. Okay. And I think that this is the last rule that I have. So let me see who's going to read. Um, we're going to have um, Chris now. Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you read this information, please? Okay. To form simple past tense of verse that um, in a consonant plus why 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 yes change change the why to I am of enough. E e d. Okay. And the I am and menos. No, ahí porque es un guión, es un dash. Sorry. Yeah, that is a dash. For example, three last cry cry plus uh, 
A I. plus ED equals cry. 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 Three. Cry. Cry plus I plus ED equals try. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you can see that this is the other rule that we have that says that to form the simple past tense of verbs that end in a consonant plus Y, we are going to change the Y to an I and then we are going to add ED, okay? Para los verbos que terminen en una consonante más Y, elimino lo que es la Y y la cambio por una I y luego agrego lo que es ED. So we have try, that becomes try, 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 ok? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. La, la pronunciación al final de cry ya con la eh, con la letra E y la D siempre es casi igual. Lleva una como el sonido de la D al final. Cry. Cry. Okay. Yes. Cry. Right. Okay. okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, you can see here that we have play, but the past tense we only added the e. Why? Porque acá solamente le agregamos el ed y no sustituí. A ver si pusimos atención. Por Porque son verbos regulares. Because, are, uh, because it is a regular verbs. Okay, yes, first of all, they are regular verbs. But my question is, ¿por qué, por qué aquí en play solo he agregado ed? Y no he hecho lo mismo aquí que en try y try. Que quité la y. Y la cambio por una i. Porque en play teacher uh -huh. tenemos una vocal antes de la i de la y y este en, el, en la otra solo termina es una consonante y la y Excelente. por eso es que no se sustituye. Perfecto. Ya veo que sí estamos con todo. I really like that. Yes, me teacher. parece, me gusta eso. Yes, uh, she was saying this is something that you need to be really careful. Eso es algo con lo que sí tienen que tener bastante cuidado, como decía la compañera. O sea, aquí tengo play, pero es una vocal y luego tengo la Y. Entonces, lo único que yo voy a hacer es agregarle el ED. Ya, en cambio, acá como lo dice la regla, y es una consonante más Y. Aquí sí, sustituyo lo que es la Y por lo que es una I más el ED. ¿Ok? Is that clear for you? ¿Está claro? Yes. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. ¿Seguros, seguros? Yes, teacher. Hey, yes. A ver. A ver qué tan yes, teacher. Give me just a few seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is the following. I'm going to be typing a regular verb and you're going to tell me, or you can send it to the chat, the correct form in its past tense, okay? Les voy a escribir aquí un verbo regular y me lo van a mandar ahí al chat, lo que es ya su forma pasada, ya aplicando lo que son las reglas, okay? 
So, for example, we begin with an easy. Okay. I have study. Okay, thank you, Josué Mauricio. Excellent. ¿Por qué? Explíquenos ahora. Okay, thank you, Graciela. Bueno, well, Josué Mauricio, explique. Bueno, eh, acá, este, como está y termina en una consonante y la que está anterior, ¿verdad? Este. También es consonante, la Y, ¿verdad? Se convierte en I y se le agrega ED para que diga estadio. Ok, excelente. Ahí les estoy escribiendo algunos. Quiero ver, estadio, estadio. Ok. Let's see the next one. Chat. Tengo ahí el verbo chat. Ok, Graciela. You're on mute. Era, era lo que explicábamos, que había en medio de dos consonantes una vocal, entonces se hacía doble la segunda consonante, en este caso la letra T. Ok, excelente. Vaya, ahí tengo like, que veamos. Ajá. Ok, José Lobo. Can you explain us the, the following or the next one, like? Sí, en este caso, como solamente termina en, en vocal, podría, solamente se le agrega la, la, la D. Ok, excelente. Let's see the next one. Care. Okay, what about the others? ¿Qué ha pasado con los demás? ¿Están quedando? Okay, excellent. Estoy viendo ahí los mensajes que están enviando. Perfecto. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, Mary, fail, stop, stop. Okay. Mary, solo en Mary se le que se le va a cambiar la I. ¿La I o la Y? La I. Okay, perfect. Okay, Mary, fail, stop, stop. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, Ok, perfecto. Estaba, bueno, estaba viendo ahí en el chat y veo que estamos súper bien. No sé si tienen alguna duda o pregunta. No, piche. ¿En the others? ¿Los demás? ¿Está todo no, claro entonces hasta no, acá? No, en this case are clear. For the moment, no. No, teacher. Comprendido, teacher. Perfecto. Bye. Entonces, el día de mañana continuaríamos, ¿verdad? Vamos a revisar lo que es la pronunciación. Esto sí es muy importante. Porque no me van a estar diciendo Marriott o Failet o Stop It. Uh, like it, like it, like it, porque eso no existe. Okay. El día de mañana estaríamos viendo ya lo que es eso, así que preparado. Pero...
Y si no hay más preguntas, hasta acá llegamos por el día de ahora, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Okay. So that's all okay. for me. See you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow. Thanks. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good